but I didn't post it, so I'm going to talk about it again, and then I'll put it up on Facebook after. Um, but on Monday, this is my DJ tutorial for Mondays, is Money Monday. So if you're DJing during the week or on the weekend, um, make sure on Monday you balance out all your gigs from the week before and the weekend because it starts to get pretty confusing. So I'll show you mine just from the last week so it doesn't get confusing. So we had uh, Nizzy covered this gig. These were some of my gigs and then gigs between me and my DJ. So I just put them all in here. And then in the other column, and the other columns are about how much they've paid, if they've paid us, do they need an invoice, you know, kind of just keep all the details set, and then if it's completed or not, and then that's it. And if you're paying out other DJs or other vendors and stuff, then I have, a, obviously, a column for how much I'm paying out to those people as well. And why this is so important um, is because at the end of the year, then, when you have to claim how much money you've made, boom, you just add it all up in Excel, and it's there for you. This also makes you a business owner, which entitles you to a lot of tax deductibles, which maybe on another day I'll start, I'll snap some of that stuff, but that's it for now. And the reason it's so important is because, you know, as you guys know, you don't get paid always on the day of. Sometimes they have to issue a check two weeks or whatever, so you got to keep track or you will miss out on money from gift. And a lot of people will pay you on the same day. Sometimes they don't mean to not have it there that day or, yeah, if they do need an invoice to issue a check, so it's not always on them, so you just got to keep up on it. Anyone that's hiring DJs, I'll give you a tip. Pay your DJ right when they get there and they're all set up. They will smash that party for you because they already know they've been paid. They know that you kept your word um, and it saves a lot of time. And I find the best thing to ask for to collect payment and to make payment is e-transfers because everyone has a record of it. I know it's, again, it's not some companies can't do that, but you know, always just try to get e-transfers. I think it's the best. All right, that's it. So on Monday, I'll probably do some more of the business side of DJing. Um, yeah, and that's it. I'm going to go take out my mom's today. So you guys will see that later. All right.